in this video we will derive the five kinematic equations using graphs. We'll start with this velocity first time graph. The slope on a velocity first time graph represents the acceleration. So we can write that the acceleration equals to, using rise over run, is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. We can write this as v final minus v initial divided by the t final minus the t initial. Typically the initial time is going to be zero so we can rewrite this just as v final minus v initial divided by the time. If I move that time over to the left I get a t equals v final minus v initial and usually we'll write it for solving for v final and so v final equals, I move the vi to the other side, vi plus a t and here is our first kinematic equation. For our second kinematic equation we're going to look at the area under the curve. So the area under a velocity versus time graph represents the displacement. And the displacement, the area here, um, looks like a rectangle and a triangle. Uh, so the uh, rectangle is going to have a uh, base times height of vi times t and then the triangle uh, is going to be one half uh, base times height. Um, the height is going to be vf minus vi. That is going to be this length right there times t. Vf minus Vi looks very familiar and we can see that from right there. We can see that Vf minus Vi equals At so we can substitute At in there. So we have delta X equals Vit plus 1 over 2 and this will be At and times T. So we can multiply that Vit plus 1 over 2 the T's multiply and we get At squared and this is your second kinematic equation. For the next kinematic equation we're going to look at this rectangle right here and we're going to subtract this triangle right here. So we're going to subtract this little triangle uh, from the big rectangle and that, that will give us the area once again under the curve. So it's just like the one that we previously did but except now we're going to subtract uh, the part that's not the area under the curve. So the displacement is equal to and so the rectangle is going to be uh, base times height so or the height times the base vf time, uh, times t minus I'm going to subtract out that triangle which is 1 over 2 v final minus v initial times time and then I'm going to multiply the I'm going to substitute that v final minus v initial we've seen that before over here once again we've seen that before and we're going to substitute that with a t so v final times t minus 1 over 2 and then this will be a t times t okay we have v f t minus 1 over 2 a t squared and this gives us our third kinematic equation next we're going to Find the area on the curve using the average velocity. So our initial velocity was vi, our final was vf. So the average, assuming, we're assuming an average acceleration here, um, this right here, right in between here, will be your average velocity, assuming we have an average acceleration. So if we calculate uh, this area right here, this will also give us the area on the curve because what's happening is instead of finding that area we're finding this area and that gives us a rectangle so our delta x will equal the area under this curve which is going to be the average velocity times the time an average velocity assuming constant acceleration is going to be one half vi plus vf. So we're adding those two numbers divided by two that will give us the average velocity times t. 
and that gives us our fourth kinematic equation. For our last kinematic equation, we're going to go to our back to our first kinematic equation, where we wrote that Vf, that the acceleration equals Vf minus Vi divided by T. And if we solve for T, uh, we get Vf minus Vi divided by A. Now we're going to take this right here, and we're going to substitute that into the T. So this is going to turn into delta X equals, and I'm going to write, I'm going to switch the VF and the VI. So VF plus VI, okay, which is the same thing as VI plus VF, divided by 2. And then I'm going to substitute for the T, which is VF minus VI divided by A. And so doing a little um, multiplication here on the top, um, if we multiply that using FOIL, we get VF squared minus VI squared. At the bottom, we get 2A. Okay, multiply 2A on both sides. 2A delta X equals VF squared minus VI squared. And then usually we'll write this uh, solving for VF. So VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A delta x. In the next video I will show you how to create a chart to figure out which of these equations to use when you're solving kinematic problems.